Meredith had one third a cup of sugar, a sixth a cup of salt, and two thirds cups of flour. What is the total of the ingredients? Can you find an equivalent fraction for your answer? So because they're asking me for the total, I need to add each of my fractions. So one third plus one sixth plus two thirds. So I need to find a common denominator since my denominators are not all the same. I know that three has a multiple that is six, so I'm gonna leave one sixth the same. In order to go from one third to sixth, I have to multiply by two since three times two is six. So I'm going to multiply with my power of one, but two halves, so one third is the same as two sixth. And then two thirds, I would do the same thing two-thirds times the power of one using two halves, and that gives me four-sixths. Remember when we add fractions, we keep the denominator the same once we have found that common denominator, and we just add the numerators. So one and four is five, five and two more is seven. So I can leave this as an improper fraction. Improper fractions have numerators that are greater than the denominator, or I can make this into a mixed number. So one whole is the same as six sixth. And in order for me to get from seven into six, I would need to have take one away. So then I would have one and one sixth as my equivalent fraction. That would be a mixed number that's the same value as my improper fraction. So the total ingredients is one and one sixth cups. The next problem is only requires a bar model to solve. So I, in all of my free time, so it doesn't matter the amount, but in the total amount of free time that I have, I'm going to use one fifth of my time to finish my homework. One fourth of the remaining time, I'm going to practice bar models. How much free time do I have left? So I drew a fraction bar. This one we didn't need over here. All right, so I have one fifth is what I'm using for my practice of um, to do my homework, and then one fourth of the remaining. So I have four pieces left of my one fifth of my fraction bar that I split into five parts. I have one piece of that four that are left. I'm going to use for bar models, and I have three fifths that are not used. So three fifths of my time is my free time. So again, I started with a whole fraction bar and I split it into five parts. One fifth of that was for my homework. One fourth of the remaining time. So now I have four pieces that are not shaded in. One fourth of that is for bar models. And then what is left is my free time. And I have three pieces of my bar left and each one of those is one fifth and so three fifths three one fifth three times is three fifths go ahead and try this problem on your own adam is expected to his homework to take him four fifths of an hour to complete it only took him three fourths of an hour how much faster did he complete it than he expected so for this one i sketched both fractions and four fifths is greater, and I want to figure out how much greater is that. What is the difference between those two fractions? And so I need to subtract. I don't have common denominators, so I had to find those using the power of one. So 20 would be a great equivalent fraction to find a common denominator to find. So for me to go from five to 20, I have to multiply by four fourths. And for me to go from four to 20, I multiply by five fifths. So now I have 16 20ths and 15 20ths, and when I subtract those, I get 1 20th.